Our next speaker is the kids instructor at the All Hands Active Digital Hacker Space in Ann Arbor. Not digital, actually, they hack all kinds of things. Please welcome Dan Nelson. <laughs> So what exactly is a hacker? Um, so it has almost nothing to do with computers uh, and codes and people doing illegal activities to steal, steal your identity. Um, hacking is just simply using something for the purpose that it wasn't originally intended for. Uh, now a hackerspace is a community workspace, uh, like All Hands Active, where local hackers and makers come together, share ideas, knowledge, collaborate on projects together, all with the goal of either hacking something for their personal use or more often than not, benefiting the community on a larger scale. Uh, we have a number of people that come down to AHA just to use the space and be part of the community, but the thing that sets us aside is that we take a, um, we try to focus a lot on outreach and education. Um, we've been working uh, for a while with other outreach organizations, um, and I've learned that hackers has a, have a lot to offer the educational realm, um, to the point where I see it as a necessity to offer our community after school programs and, uh, and summer camps. Uh, when you ask a hacker what got them into the field that they chose, uh, the story is usually one where they decided to go against the grain um, because the educational system stopped working for them. Um, so, so at All Hands Active, uh, we, we like to think that we don't like to, for, to have people uh, tell us how to learn. Uh, don't tell us what two plus two is. We, we want to find out on our own. Um, we may fail in this process, but even in doing that, there's something to be learned. Uh, life isn't full of tests with either right or wrong answers, and there's no black and white. And if you tell kids that, um, you're, you're going to have a generation of kids that um, are afraid to try anything for the fear that they might fail. Um, I made a comment to one of the students I'm, I'm currently teaching, um, just saying how awesome it was that, uh, that he didn't want me to tell him the right answer, how to do something. And his reply was, if I don't learn through trial and error, then I might as well be in a classroom. There's nothing wrong with being wrong. This kid is 10 years old. Uh, one of the common sayings in the hacker community is, I void warranties. Companies, of course, want to protect themselves against users, either stealing their ideas or blaming them if we broke them. Uh, but, you know, I don't want anyone to fix anything for me because I bought it and it's mine. Um, the gain from learning or altering or enhancing the item that is now my possession is, uh, and, you know, risk breaking it beyond repair is greater uh, because otherwise I would have factory settings and not know how it worked. Um, the benefits of children adapting to this way of thinking are simple. When you take something apart and learn what makes it work, you gain a newfound respect for your belongings. Even better, you gain a greater understanding of how the entire world works around you. Um, hackers also have a keen eye on spotting what in their life and, uh, and surrounding environment doesn't work. This works on more than just objects, though. It works on philosophies and ideas that make up uh, our lives. I find it very easy to uh, hack the educational system because I know where it failed me and more so where I failed it. Um, and my, my story is very common. Um, there's websites like Lifehacker that share knowledge on how to hack awkward social situations, personal productivity, um, and provides people with scientific information for anyone remotely interested in enhancing their own lives. Um, if kids thought, more this, uh, thought this way more often, what worked, what didn't work, uh, what, what did we just do that gave a really weird outcome, uh, not only would it benefit them in the real world, but mentally as well. They can be more self-aware and more willing to change their own negative behavior, which is a problem that even adults have. One of my goals is to get more people interested in helping out the future generation by teaching. You don't have to go to college to learn how to educate. It certainly helps, but there's no secret that you can learn from doing, and thus by teaching. If you treat education like a constant science experiment, always changing the rules, trying new things, developing new concepts, no one ever gets bored, including the instructor. Especially if the parents are involved, it could potentially change the way parents handle success and failure in the home. 
So if you think you're a hacker or a maker, see what's out there in your community. There's places to put your two cents into, people to spew ideas at and uh, collaborate with, and projects to get involved if, in if you have an interest in taking part in hacking education. Thank you.